two, one. Whew. All right, folks. Welcome back to Tyrannodon Media's Show and Tell. And today we have a very pleasant surprise. And his name is Karg. That's right. Uh, Karg is a figure from the Masters of the Universe collection here. And uh, this is a figure that's been... Well, a lot of people have been waiting for this for a long time. So uh, I know I have. And I wanted to get more in detail with the actual figure. As you can see, he's in one of these um, very familiar Masters of the Universe boxes. Um, and it has this nice little 10th anniversary, 2008 to 2018. That's how long I've been collecting these uh, uh, classics figures. And look at this beautiful art that we have here. Karg right there. And um, I'll put this and you could You could pause this if you want to. I'm not going to read the whole thing here for you. But you get the nice little Super 7 logo and you get... Uh, an idea of what figures in this line were um, around. It'd been, it would have been nice if you seen the other characters like they have done before where you kind of get a nice little mix. But I guess you got to show what's available at the moment. But um, you can be you probably find this on He-Man.org if you want to read the whole thing. Uh, I'm not going to sit down and <laughs> read that for you. But let's um, let's take a look at him. All right, and here we go, folks. This is Karg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this is a very awesome figure, and a figure that I've been waiting for for a long time, so much that I even made a custom that uh, someone actually purchased on eBay some time back. But if you go to the foosh.com, you could probably find my old Karg custom. I really wanted this character for a very long time. Even when I was a kid, this character um, was one of the more interesting villains of the movie if not characters um just as a whole he uh he kind of had this certain appeal uh that reminded me of like a one of those characters from from a dark crystal or from labyrinth so he's definitely a, a nice representation of, of the aesthetic of, of the times um i really like that that big poofy hair and look at those bat ears. So I, I, I like Karg a lot. Let's get around here. You can see that he's got this um, nice flowy cape. The materials, this um, pliable plastic. It's very, um, I don't know, it's similar to, um, I guess, the Keldor cape. Um, and the armor is, is pretty flexible, too. I think he's one of the best figures that Super 7 has put out to date. Now, I haven't reviewed all the figures yet, but... Um, this one is just, they did a hell of a job. Now, previously, now look at this hand here. This hand actually has this little, you know, this little extra joint here, this little right here that you could move this and get some extra articulation out of that. And he's got all the standard articulation. His armor looks like if you really wanted to, you could re remove it. Um, but I don't see the reason why. This whole piece here is, is a newly sculpted piece. Um, this is added on. And look at the, it's got this really nice metallic sheen right here. Uh, new boots, except uh, the actual foot section is something that's been reused. The hook looks very similar to uh, Trap Jaws as well. It does not come off. At least I haven't, you know, tried to take it off. Uh, this seems to be part of uh, the armor, this little um, collar right here. I always like that. Kind of gave him this weird Victorian or medieval look renaissance kind of there you go and check this out check out the detail of that face come on let's go look at that you'll want ugly cog yeah he just looks cool and I, you know now here's the other thing now if you noticed if you've watched he-man the movie he-man the movie masters of the universe movie um he Looks like this, of course. He's shorter than all the other ones, but this wanted to keep. They want. I guess they wanted to keep with the same design elements as the other Masters figures. You know, you don't want to get a smaller character, and I think this works. I think it's pretty cool. Um, now the colors, though, are blue. Are different shades of blue. Um, yeah, and the movie has more black and copper. I think what they were the problem they had with with originally was getting uh, the likeness of the character from the movie and they had to go with what was next um, what they could get was what he resembled in the comic book adaptation 
So I think this was, to me though, with the details of the face, this looks more movie-like. I'm happy with this. Now, I did buy an extra one in in case I'd like to repaint it to look more like the movie. Um, now, check out this cool little knife he's got here too. Yeah. I don't remember if this was in the movie. I mean, I don't really pay attention too closely to details. But um, I like also that the hands got some like grittiness. It's back to that old school um, masters. This reminds me of one of the early figures where they actually put a lot of detail and a lot of washes. Um, yeah, I mean the paint isn't like 100%, but I say to give it a good strong 98% um, on on the paint job. But like they gave him like these nice little um, uh, you know uh, dry brush over the hair and some washes. Uh, to give him that, some extra details to really show that sculpt that the Four Horsemen did. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's got standard Masters of the Universe articulation. Uh, let's see, the boots actually do have a little thing right there. I don't... Is it a little, a little slight rocking? I guess you could do some rocking of the ankle, ankle rockers. Not a lot. But, you know, as far as articulation, I think some of the most important aspects that a figure in today's age needs is you know you got to have your your thighs that do this you got to have this you got to have them you got to have them be able to do that let leg spread action pose you know and have the hand you know the hand up now the hair does prevent him from moving the head back and forth uh the cape is attached to the back like this it's glued on um and you know his cool little gun over here. Yeah, but otherwise, I mean, he's just a great character. You're not, you're probably not going to be able to get him to sit on most vehicles. But you know, he never was on a vehicle in the movie, or was he? I don't know. I can't remember that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, really cool figure. Really cool. I love what the four horsemen did with the head, especially. Oh my god, this is great. They really did a great job. I'm so so happy about this. Now here's something that um, I've been wanting to do. This is the first time I've busted him out and played with him. And uh, I am going to bring out his homeboys so he can hang out with them. And this is, uh, is going to be cool, man. All right. Let's get Blade. And oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I am one happy camper now. Look at that. Yeah, that's that is awesome. Oops. Now, if we could only get a Beast Man, movie Beast Man, I wouldn't mind doing a custom if I had a spare Beast Man. Uh, and movie Skeletor, a lot of people have been wanting movie Skeletor. Uh, what would you all want? Would you all want to see a Masters Classics, classic style Skeletor where you get the original Skeletor mold, add a couple of other parts, or have it exactly look like the movie? Uh, but look how, oh, that's just freaking badass. Yeah, that is so cool. The crew, man, the crew. Yeah, and I like that. This goes well with, uh, y you know, with with the whole Masters Classics line. Um, I'm going to put just Filmation Skeletor next to him uh, just to kind of give you all an idea of how, why I appreciate the original style of Classics as opposed to the Filmation. And just look at the detail that you get from that. Um or screw it. You know what? Let me get a regular Skeletor. Hold on real quick. There you go. And I threw in uh, the Alcala head um, classic Skeletor there. Uh, and, oh, I wish I would just re-release uh, re this Skeletor just like that. That's great. But, I mean, I, it's cool. I mean, you, you just imagine it, could, it looks like this is Skeletor's uh, first crew before he killed them all and then got that flea-bitten buffoon beast man. And the other gang. But yeah, look at that. Look how cool that is. Um, yeah. And just one more shot of that. Just looks great. Yeah. So that's Karg. Um, now, you had to have gotten him from the subscription service or uh, pre-ordered him that was Super 7. I hope they find a way to re-release these guys somehow or some way. Um, I would even... It would be cool to get a more movie-accurate th three-pack with these guys here. Uh, more details and put a DVD in there or something like that. I mean, that would be awesome. You know, maybe, you know, $100. You know, get the Blu-ray, DVD, three-pack. That would make a great exclusive or just have on the site. I think a lot of people would go for that. Uh, but yeah, there you have it, Karg. Okay, so folks, this is um, 
this is uh, one of the uh, early videos I'm doing, and hopefully they get better as I'm doing them. Uh, so if you like what you see and you want more, uh, you know, feel free to content, uh, content, feel free to uh, comment is what I meant to say. And find us on Facebook, find us on Instagram, find us on all that stuff. If you want to, I'm not going to force you to or be like, please, guys, make sure to add like and subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, this is just for fun. So, but um, yeah, it does take a little bit of time.